Hi everybody! Um, so it has been a while and I probably look pretty tired. Um, I'm actually prepping for a show in like next week actually, next Saturday. And so I haven't really done a ton of recording because I've just been like go mode. I don't know if any of you have done shows before. Like you have the intention of giving yourself all this time and starting early and getting everything done, you know, so you don't have to rush. But then for some reason, it just ends up being a rush at the end anyways. So, yeah, that's what we're doing with a week to go. We're rushing. <laughs> I have all of these things over here. So I've got to bisque all these, bisque those, and those. These need to get refired because the glaze kind of didn't turn out super great with it. Not sure I can manage it, but we'll see. I actually already went ahead and lustered everything, and so all I really do need to do is fire it. I I didn't record it. It was super late last night, and I was just like, I do not feel up to this. So, we are just going to run it, um, and run it soon, because I don't know about you guys, but I just hate the smell of luster. It's just awful. And then it makes my whole studio smell like it until I fire the pieces. You have seen my luster videos. Um, if you haven't, I'll make sure to put it here or down below. Um, but if you have seen my Lester videos, I actually do wear a face mask and gloves and all that jazz because it is just not, not friendly. Smell not good for you. I usually end up with a headache after I do the, the lustering, um, so I tend to not do it very often. I usually save all of my pieces till the end to luster. So I, I might try to fit in another luster, but I'm thinking with all the glazing and the bisking I have to do this week, a luster is probably not going to happen. So this will be the luster, these will be the lustered pieces, and that'll be about it. Which is good, which is great. It's fine. Um, yeah, so I mean, honestly, like the prices for a luster kind of went up quite a bit. So... It means I have to increase the prices for my mugs, and, and you know, so I'm just not sure how they'll sell, and yeah. There we go. There are all our luster pieces. Most of them are gold. I think only one, that green one right there, is going to be silver. Or white gold, I think is what they call it, but it basically looks like silver. And the rest of these are going to be gold. What else is there today? I actually need to do... Um, some underglaze washes on my mug. So the last video I did, which was a couple weeks ago, <laughs> is uh, I made these red clay mugs. Um, and so we need to do underglaze and you know they have the cute little, I did add dragons and stuff. I'm not sure if I put that in a video or not. I don't think I did. But um, they did get bisked and they've got like cute little dragons on the handles. Um, they usually sell pretty well, so I decided to make some even though they don't really fit the Little Mermaid uh, collection that I am kind of doing and launching for the show. Um, but, so we've got to add an underglaze wash to these guys. Um, and yeah, and it's a really sunny day, so it'll be a great day to do that because then I can just do the underglaze wash and then let them dry. So then they'll be dry enough to be able to glaze later, so yeah.
thought it might be kind of fun to kind of show how I kind of plan everything out and stuff for my booth. And then I also have my friend Ferntail who comes in to do the octopuses. Um, they actually came in and done, did the octopuses. I, you probably saw it when I was showing you all the other work that still needs to get done. Um, they turned out awesome. And um, anyway, so they're actually going to be coming and doing uh some of their stuff too so we're kind of sharing the booth so i um i have to keep that in mind too i do really want to set everything up and kind of look at it just to make sure that i can get everything to fit um on the tables and stuff and then also on top of that i did get a new tent um which it's not really like a tent like they they have online you know it says like a tent for shows and stuff like that it is definitely more of a gazebo and is very heavy. Um, I didn't think that part through, but I am trying really hard to do the Ren Fair this year, um, which will happen in October. Um, I haven't gotten accepted yet, um, but assuming they accept me, I needed a tent that kind of was more Ren Fair and like, you know, more like heavy cloth and colors, you know, that, that worked well and... Anyway, so, um, and my other tent is kind of falling apart. It's not really, like, it's hard to get up. Also, it's short. So people keep, like, bonking their heads and stuff. Like, I didn't notice it because I am a very short person. So when I walk into the tent, it's not a big deal. But if anyone taller than me, which is pretty much most everybody, <laughs> tries to walk into the tent, they usually end up having to duck to get into my tent to look at my work. And I just, I don't know. I feel like that's inconvenient, especially if I have the signs hung up. Then you're like, gonna bonk your head. And anyway, so I figured it was time to get like a bigger one. Um, so I did get one that was quite a bit taller so that people wouldn't have to constantly be ducking and trying to get in. Still kind of working out where to put things. I was thinking about doing like sections, so this sign would be, you know, like smogist or dragon mugs or something like that. That's what this sign would say, and then I've got all the dragon stuff here. Um, then of course a lot of this is Alice in Wonderland, so you know, have a sign here somewhere like that one. This is Alice in Wonderland collection, and then we've got all our little charms and stuff set up there some spoons, um, some mushrooms, those probably should go back over here because that's part of the Alice collection. And then here I think is where I'm going to put my ocean themed stuff because then here is where my friend is going to have, where the other artist I'm doing this with is going to have their display so that kind of gives them enough room to have they're like pegboard um, so, uh, cinched to this tape. I still have a bunch of bunk cups in the kiln and then I have these pieces that need to get glazed. Um, but I did make doubles of things so, or more, doubles or more of things. So I can have like one on display and put one behind and then anything that doesn't sell I'm going to put on my online sale the week after. So. Yeah, this is kind of what I'm thinking for my display. I'll let you know when I get it all set up. I have to drag everything out here anyways because I got a packet to put in the car. Um, so it's Thursday, so the show's on Saturday. So I still have a couple, you know, two days. I have today and tomorrow to kind of figure stuff out.
One last kill mode. See if it gets done in time. Because it shows tomorrow morning and I have to leave pretty early, so. I'm not sure that whatever's in this load will get out, but we'll see. It's all the new pieces that we have going to the show. Quite a bit of new pieces. 